Okay guys, today I'm dealing with this 2010 Ford Focus and it has this really bad shaking and vibrating at idle, especially when you give it a little gas. Or uh, under a load, like with the AC on, it's even worse. And uh, when you're driving around and accelerating, you know, it'll shake and rumble and groan, all kinds of crazy noises. And the cause of this is gonna be the uh, bad motor mounts. And uh, usually it's the back mounts and the passenger side mounts so today I'm gonna to be uh, raising this car up uh, inspecting those mounts and also replacing them and see if we can make this go away and get any better it's hard to really capture but it is rattling in here it's so bad so let's get, get this car up in the air and take a look underneath and see what we can find so this is gonna be our passenger motor mount this one's hydraulic and these go bad they leak the fluid and um, this is a big source of the vibration. There's also a mount under the uh, battery and airbox, but that one doesn't go out as uh, commonly as the passenger side and the one on the back uh, lower. I'll get, I'll get the car up in there and show you what I'm talking about on that one. So this is the mount, the lower rear mount, and tears can actually be seen in the bushing. The bushing in here is actually uh, rotted out, torn, and cracked, so that's going to be one, probably the major source of this car's vibration, this one, and probably the leaking hydraulic uh, passenger side mount. This one is just like a solid rubber, rubber mount, rubber bushing here, rubber bushing in the back, and uh, the top one's gonna be hydraulic. So, um, yeah, take a look at this. I can just move it around by hand. I should be able to move it around this easily. Here's our new Our new rear mounts, that's what it's supposed to look like, nice and clean bushings. And this is going to be our hydraulic passenger side mount. So you've got two 15 millimeter bolts, one here, and then one going in to the side. And the easiest way to remove this is to pry the transmission towards the front of the vehicle to make room to pull this guy out. I'll see if I can get a video, but I need two hands. go top mount is installed I'm gonna lower the car and work in the passenger side mount so for the side mount I'm gonna start by removing this reservoir just two 10 millimeters just set this aside I don't have to completely uninstall it just lift it up and set it over here somewhere just out of the way and here we have two 18 millimeter nuts, one here, one here, and then the bolts here and here are 15 millimeters. So I'm gonna start by removing the, the 15 millimeter bolts holding on this bracket. And once this is out, we can get these 18s and uh, let that mount up and out. Okay, so um, I had to take out all three 15 millimeters here, 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 and then these two this one is an 18 millimeter nut, and this one's a stud that's gonna stay there. You just kind of uh, pull it up and out. But there's a little bit of assembly required. I didn't realize this, but here's the bottom of the of the old mount, and here's the bottom of the new. This piece here wraps around the bracket and uh, holds it in place. I've never seen this before in a mount, so I'm gonna have to actually pry this, pry these ears off. Yeah, so I'm going to have to pry these ears off to remove it and then put this guy on there and uh, bend the ears in uh, the same way these are to hold it in place. Pretty, pretty weird. So all I'm doing is um, getting a flathead and bending the ears up 
just enough to where I can get a pair of pliers and grab them and just uh, pinch them and bend them back out of the way. It's almost like this bar here is meant for you to use the pry. It's like the perfect um, leverage to be able to stick a flathead in there and just bend the brackets out of the way. So yeah, I just had to like flatten the ears enough to be able to slide it out. So one of the ears goes in the slot right here. Um, so I'll show you what the new one. Yeah, you get, gotta get the ear. And there, man, it is a tight fit. This mount sucks. Uh, you gotta slide the ear through. Now I'm gonna have to fold them over and pinch them onto this bracket just like how the original one was. So here we go guys, I got the new mount in there. The 218s are tight, the 315s are tight. Got the reservoir back in with the 210 millimeter uh, screws. So I'm gonna put this car on the floor, start it up, and uh, hopefully get a good uh, before and after and uh, get the improvement with these new mounts in there. All right, let's fire it up and see if uh, we have to improve it. Guys, it's like almost no vibrations in the interior. You put a load on it, get the AC going. So right around here, like 1500 RPMs, there'd be like a rattle on the dash that the vibration would be so bad. So we're just replacing these two mounts. It's seriously a drastic improvement. Uh, the shaking and vibrating and all that crap is pretty much 95% gone. It's nice and smooth the way it should be. All right, if you like this video and uh, you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or want to see a video on a certain uh, topic, uh, just comment below and let me know which uh, what do you want to see. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.